St. Elmo's Fire, the movie that helped introduce us to future Hollywood royalty. Rob Lowe, Judd Nelson, Demi Moore and Emilio Estevez. It also launched rock musician John Parr to international acclaim when the title track became a global hit. But the song had the unlikeliest of origins. It all started right here at the Miners' Welfare Club in Worksop, Nottinghamshire. John, why is this place significant to you? Well, it was my hometown. It was my first paid gig. I got six guineas <laughs> with my schoolmates. We were 12. It was a mecca of entertainment to people in Worksop. Like the London Palladium, I suppose, <laughs> to a, a northern kid in the 60s. It, it was like a calling. It was such a hotbed of great talent. And I just wanted to try and be as good as they were. Today, John may have all the trappings of a successful rock star, but it took him 20 years of hard graft before things started to take off. Yeah, I was in the top band playing the northern clubs. But you're a big fish in a little puddle, you know. I was cursed with ambition. Very painful, you know, something that's always out of your reach. And for many years, I took a lot of no's until finally somebody said yes. Unable to secure a record deal for his band, John turned to songwriting. American artist Meatloaf got in touch. Things started to happen pretty quick. Meatloaf uh, heard the stuff and uh, wanted to work with me. Suddenly I'm in this, you know, Connecticut studio with Meatloaf's band. And there's little old me from Worksop. John went on to score a hit record in America himself with a track called Naughty Naughty. Then he got a call from Hollywood. David Foster, kind of legendary producer, called me and said, I'm writing a, uh, the score for a, a movie. and Do you want to come and write a song? David wanted John's help with the title track for St. Elmo's Fire. Together they wrote the music very quickly, but struggled with the lyrics. And David just said, look, this has nothing to do with the film script, he said, but a boy came in the studio last week and he showed me this video cassette. It was a video about Rick Hansen, a young sportsman who'd broken his spine in a truck accident. He was embarking on an extraordinary journey around the world to raise money for spinal research. Every time we reach an obstacle, we believe with all our heart, somehow, some way, there's a way around it or through it. The hairs on the back of my neck were up, and I thought, this is my destiny. And I wrote the story of what I thought would happen. And St. Elmo's Fire was the embodiment of his dream that he was wheeling towards. It's a phenomenon of nature when phosphorus glows in the sky. I came to the studio the next day, and I sang it as if I was the guy in the chair. That's why it's so passionate. With a 24-hour deadline, the unlikely song was approved and recorded in haste. The cast were reluctantly recalled for the promo video. The actors definitely didn't want to be there with this guy <laughs> to do this song. It's hilarious. But the song went on to become Rick Hansen's anthem and a huge hit everywhere he travelled around the world. And he sent me a telegram and he said, when I feel I can't wheel another mile, I pull over and I play the song and do another 20. Despite his success, John still lives locally, and joining him back in Worksop for a special one-show performance of his famous track are some of his old music mates. You don't see the writing on the wall. I believed in him because his songs, his music, the man himself, his persona. You've never seen anybody practice like John. We spent hours and hours and hours until he's really, really happy, and then he's still not happy. <laughs> I knew he would become John Parr, a superstar. You were lied like me. Just a prisoner, and you're trying to break free. Did Rick's story reflect your own at all? It's me, isn't it? I mean, I was trapped, geographically trapped. It was very difficult to come from where I came from. But I just thought, well, I will get there if I work hard enough. And I never lost faith. All I need is a pair of wheels. Take me where my future's lying. Set fire. Ooh.